Shalom, shalom, this is Fallen Yahshua, welcome again to The Rock. Right now, it is relatively early in the morning, Zion is milking the goats, my two older daughters were rotating some of the other goats, our two bellies, we are rotating them, um, uh, Ripka is in the house fixing breakfast, you can see little Pud back there, she's gathering sticks, a little bucket, um, I myself uh, planted two 30, 40 foot rows of squash of a uh, black beauty and planting some summer squash right now. Um, a lot of it's already coming up. I've been continually planting. And this is one area where we've been working on right here. You see this little clearing we're clearing out. We're extending our goat pen. We're extending our goat pen uh, to make it probably. Oh, 200, 300 feet by 100 feet, something like that. But we're extending it. And, you know, we all work together as a family. We are all working together as a family, working together as one. Um, everybody has a job. Everybody knows their job. And everybody's happy to do their job because everybody's happy about the life that Yah has provided for us. And the times that we are living in right now, oh, and if you look right here, you can see the clearing. This is a lot of work. You know, you're, you're taking down the trees, as you see right there. And then I, I, well, I take them down. We don't have the luxury of having a, a tractor or anything like that. So everything's done manually. We have to get out here and do it. Um, the children help. Uh, I cut them down. I limb them. You know, I cut them down to pieces like that or like that or right there. And then I move those. Uh, or the sisters will move them. Or the, they have little competitions where they move, move the stuff. Um, but you see a pile, you see, uh, where is it at? you see a pile right there, and then we have a monster pile right here. And it's just constantly the process of cutting these things down. A lot of these I cut um, because I'm going to be using them as, as uh, building material for other projects, you know, some of the cedar, um, some of the oak. I cut them down to pieces. Uh, a lot of the branches I cut down at the straight in the posts to put posts around gardens. Look at her, working hard. She's uh, five years old. How old are you? Five. Five years old, getting it done. No qualms, no worries, enjoys it, has fun. But she's collecting sticks um, for kindling. We work together. Here's what I want to impress upon everybody, if I may humbly. We see some severely tumultuous, terrible times coming. Terrible times. We see shootings. Sin is, a, is abounding at an all-time, I mean, just, it, it's unbelievable. Unemployment. They're talking about the unemployment numbers are 14%. Looking at the numbers, unemployment looks a lot more like 20 to 25%, just looking at the numbers, just using some mathematical analysis, I guess. They're opening up, or talking about opening up states. Jobs aren't there. Mom and pop stores, they said in the next six months, there could be a closure of 50 to 60% of mom and pop stores. Small businesses. Because the ones that are open right now are what, Walmart, uh, Amazon, they're, they're, they're making a killing. I don't care what the numbers say, what, what, the, what, what numbers are putting out there. They're making a killing in this environment because that's the only place people can go to get the necessities that they have. Here's what I would say. You know, I've been asked this question, what should we do? You know, I have a lot of people, you know, and, and bless you all, who are asking me questions and want answers, and, and I want you to understand, I want to answer your emails and your text messages and your, your phone calls, but this is what I've been doing, this. And it's hard work. You know, we've been doing this for the past three or four days, and I still got another, I'm probably two-thirds of the way done. I still have another one-third to do. But people are asking a lot of questions, and this is why I have a hard time getting back to you, because of the work. But, um, and people are asking me from a lot of different organizations. They're, they belong to different, you know, groups, ministries, camps, and, you know, I, I praise the Most High that, you know, this channel has been able to be an inspiration. But we need to move with an urgency. 
what I mean with an urgency is the complacency. You know, you read the story of Joseph with a seven years of plenty and a seven years of famine. Hey, son. Daddy, am I going to Yes, yes. You have to help her, though, okay? Um, those are my sons over here. Uh, there's a lot that needs to get done. There's a lot of work that needs to get put in. If you are going to be able to preserve yourself and your family, if you're going to be able to come out, if you're going to be able to live a set-apart life away from the, you know, what is coming down. You know, they're passing bills about, I mean, just some of the craziest stuff. You know, people are sending me bills. It was an HR 6666. I think that's what it was called. You know, a bill that, that uh, I haven't read it, so this is what I was told. And I'm going by what I was told because I haven't read it yet. But something along the lines of some coronavirus, you know, uh, COVID-19 bill that will allow people to be removed from their houses or something like that. I don't know how much the validity of it is, but um, check it out yourself. Things like that. They're passing bills. They're, you know, um, people have lost their jobs. So they're talking about, you know, the Democrats are talking about uh, passing or putting in uh, bills that will give $2,000 a month to each uh, adult uh, in a home or, or, or 4000 for a married couple and every and another $500 per child. You can see what we're marching towards. Self-sufficiency is the only avenue that we are going to have to guarantee our ability to have food, to have a livelihood, to eat, to have clean water without having to go deeper in. Being able to produce but in, in order to produce, you have to move with an urgency now because you can't lollygag and play and have fun. You know, people got their stimulus checks. Hey, hey, hush. People got their stimulus checks and blew their stimulus checks buying TVs. Hey, that's what you want to spend your money on? That's fine. But for others, you have to think about this. This is the time to start buying supplies you need, material you need. If you're looking in the homesteading, if you bought land, Think about it. You know, I just bought, uh, or you look at, you know, let's say chicken wire for a coop. Uh, and I'm going to show you my coop. My, we've doubled, actually we've added about 125% more to the coop that we had, uh, to the running coop that we had. Well, you're looking at fencing. This fencing, I get this fencing, and I think it's about 70-ish dollars uh, for, uh, I believe it's 100 feet. I believe it's 100 feet. Four-foot welded wire fencing. Um, I believe that's what it costs. Do you understand the idea that if you want to fence an area that is, you know, let's say uh, 100 by 100, that's four rolls. That's $300, and that does not include, that does not include the, the, the T-posts, that T-posts right there that you're going to have to use. That doesn't include any, any shelter you're going to build for them. How are you going to feed them? What feeders are you going to have in them? How do you feed your animals in the wintertime? There are a lot of questions that are being, that need to be asked when you are thinking about the idea of coming out of her. It's not just, you know, people worry about things that are, are really irrelevant. You know, you need to be focusing on the things that are going to lead to your self-sufficiency. Spend your money wisely. Spend your money on things that are going to benefit you. How about quality shovels? How about quality rakes? How about learning the skill of how to make a shovel handle in case your shovel handle breaks? How about quality hammers? How about a quality chainsaw? Uh, how about learning how to replace? Like for myself, I have chainsaws, but then I bought replacement uh, tune-up kits, including the carburetor, uh, fuel line hoses, spark plugs, uh, uh, the the, the pulleys, the cords, how about replacement parts for that? How about, that's if you plan on doing this sort of work, cutting down trees. Um, how about the ability to put gasoline away? Do you have oil to mix with your gasoline for your chainsaws? Do you have extra chains? Do you have extra bars? Do you know how to tune up a chainsaw? All these things are way more important than the things that are being presented to us 
as far as the, the, it's like this world has our minds so trapped up in what's happening around us that we are not paying attention to the things that we need to be paying attention to. Now, people ask me about solar. Solar is a whole other game if you want to, if you plan on going on the solar. And yes, we are on solar. We don't have any connections uh, uh, to the grid. So solar is a whole nother system. You're going to have to know, uh, uh, learn and know uh, how to do um, piping. Do you intend on, on, on uh, having off-grid sewage? Or handling, uh, whether it be compost, uh, 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 compost toilets, whatever. Do you know how to do those things? There are so much more important things to do than to worry about the things that we're, that we're worrying about. But if you plan on doing those things, those things cost money. And people are losing their jobs right now. People are losing their jobs right now. People are being told, go back to work. And if you go back to work, you could get sick. Hey, hey not so loud. If you, could, if you go back to work, you could get sick. You know, Zion, you know, came to me with a talk to, she was talking to another sister, uh, a couple other sisters, um, uh, Mother Kate and Sister Nina, and they taught her how to make a homemade dewormer for our goats. Do you know how to deworm your goats? Now we're running our chickens behind our goats. Why? Because the chickens will eat the worms out of the droppings of the goats. Makes sense. We're connecting, one of the things we're doing is we're connecting our, our chicken we're making a little tunnel from our chicken run into our goat pen so that our chickens can run through there and eat up and get protein from the goats. It's developing systems. Because the answer is not what we've been presented with. You, you can see right now, the system itself doesn't even have answers. They're guessing. It's all guesswork right now. Well, you know one thing I know that there is an answer in? The simplicity of Yah's ways. Follow the old paths. There's an answer in that. That's a, that there's a feasible answer to that. But it requires you to move with an urgency. Not a haste, a, 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 a unthinking hastiness, but an urgency to get things done. To spend every last dollar you get from this time on out wisely. It was amazing. I was at uh, Walmart last week. Went to Walmart, picking up uh, a couple of other things. But one of the things I... And somebody had called me and told me Walmart selling their fruit trees 50% off. I was able to buy uh, seven, seven and eight, seven, eight fruit trees, seven or eight fruit trees <coughs> at 50% off. Pear trees, $12.50, regularly priced 26 bucks. Fig trees, apple trees, priced $12.50, regularly priced 25, 26, 27, 28 bucks. So instead of spending my money, because one of the things I concern myself about is calories. Calories. Being able to have a sustainable way to acquire food, fruit trees, that will come back year after year after year. Same thing with animals. Same thing with chickens. Same thing with goats. Same thing with my gardens. Not just having a harvest this year. But having a sustainable way to continue to get food. So I have to learn how to harvest seeds. Let my, let, I have to plant some plants with the idea that they're going to go to seed. So that I can uh, 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 acquire seeds for the next year. There has to be an urgency. Our minds have to be made up in what we are going to do. And how we are going to do it. There has to be a plan. If y'all gave you a vision, then you need to be about that vision. Because time is too short. To be playing. Time is too short to be playing with your families, playing with your livelihood, playing with your playing with your security. Playtime is over. I know a lot of people are so accustomed to playing. Playtime is over. If you are not serious and you are not moving with an urgency and putting everything behind what you are doing, then you may just get caught up suffering with the rest of the people or having to acquiesce and, and go further in to this system that is clearly falling apart just to get your everyday needs met. We should not be as Yah's people, whether you're the stranger or you're the homeborn. We should not be relying on the system for every last part of our livelihood, of our being, of our food, of our water, of every last part of us. 
We're going to be a, 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 a sustained, self-sustained people. Again, read the story in Jasher of, of, of uh, how the Israelites, how, how the Hebrew and Israelites got entangled in slavery. Read that story. Let it sink in uh, how they did it. And then look at what's happening right now. We need to move with an urgency. Otherwise, we ourselves will be forced in one way or another, whether passively or aggressively, to go in to get what we need. This is our opportunity. Take the money that you are making. Do something wise with it. Put food back. Get garden started. This is why one of the reasons why I speak about come out of her. Because it's going to be kind of hard to extend a, a, a goat pen and secure protein and secure uh, uh, calcium and secure cheese and yogurt and milk and meat when they don't even allow you to have chickens in your backyard. I hope this resonates with somebody. The urgent time to move is now. We are way past, way past the due date. And as you can see, it's all collapsing. It's all collapsing. And you can hear my daughter in the background singing. I don't know what she's singing, but she's singing something. <laughs> Bless you all. Think about the words that I, I said, and may they prick your heart. We've got to move with an urgency. Shalom.